What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to discuss something called separation anxiety. It's something that can plague huskies specifically and it can cause a lot of destructive behavior that is going to be hard to reverse. I'm going to give you these tips every Tuesday, stuff that we've experienced personally with Moon. They tend to be a breed where I've noticed that everybody sees the same characteristic behavior across the breed. My hunch is some of the stuff that we give you tips about is going to be stuff that you guys can actually relate to and it's going to help. If you can stop what you're doing, go ahead and like this video. It helps with the algorithm and pushing it out to other people that may need to see this. And also comment down below and let us know exactly what questions you have for future videos. So first things first, routine, routine, routine. We made sure at a young age that Moon knew that every morning he was gonna be going out, he was going to be playing with us throughout the day. And then every night before he went in for the day, he was also going to go out another time. As long as we kept to that routine, he stayed very predictable. The second thing that you can do especially if you have a puppet at a young age, is get a crate. These dogs love to have their safe spaces. If the house is loud or things are getting crazy and for whatever reason they're triggered to be in a state of anxiety, they love having that crate to go to. There shouldn't really be this negative connotation to crates or cages or kennels, whatever you may call it. They're definitely great, especially for this breed of dog. The third thing, all this light coming inside, what Moon's doing right now, he's almost basking in it. Leave the windows nice and wide open so that each and every day, whether you're home or you're not home, your pup gets the chance to actually take in the light, take in the outside, interact. Moon is not reactive, so he's not necessarily barking at other dogs, but he has the opportunity to actually interact outside and see the trees moving, see the birds, see people walking, see the cars, all stuff that he would normally do while we were here as well. The next thing you wanna do, his toys are on his bed. They're always on his bed. We don't move them from his bed. If he takes them, he moves them away, we do our best to make sure that they go right back to his bed. So leave them in a place where he knows where they're gonna be and he's not searching all over the house looking for stuff because eventually what he's going to look for is not gonna be his toy. It's gonna be something that he can get into mischief with. The last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with is ensure that your dog is exhausted. Whether it's a Chihuahua, a Jack Russell Terrier, a Labrador Retriever, or a Husky, but a Husky especially, they literally are the epitome of the quote, a tired dog is a happy dog. As long as Moon is exhausted, all he really wants to do is to lounge around and relax but it's up to us to ensure that he's exhausted you have to take full control of the fact that you are the dog dad or the dog mom and you have to make sure that you do what's right for your pup and as they grow older they become more responsible and they'll be able to kind of lounge around and do things differently than what they usually do at a younger age i really hope that these tips helped you guys let us know in the comments down below if you have any specific questions about your husky or if you're looking to get a husky let us know down below we'd love to be of assistance to you guys i hope this provided value to your day and to your current situation Situation. I actually have one last thing that I want to tell you guys. If you know that you work eight to 10 hours a day or your spouse or your roommate works eight to 10 hours a day alongside with you, it might not be the right time to get a dog. And that's okay because that doesn't mean you can never have a dog. It just means that at this very moment, you may not be best suitable to have a dog, especially a breed with such high demands. Don't be a part of the statistic that is getting these dogs and surrendering them. Be a part of the responsible community. Don't bite off more than you can chew. It took us close to a year's worth of research before getting Moon. It was the smartest decision we've made. I just want to leave you guys with that. Moon is now peaceful. He's happy. He doesn't have to feel that he's missing out on anything. So I just want you guys to do as I always say and just stay fresh and stay blessed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.